Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can move around layers that have animation or keyframes anywhere in your composition without affecting the keyframes or the animation itself. Now I want to be able to move this animation anywhere I want to see how it looks maybe at the top, in the center, but the problem I'm running into is when I select the layer and try to move it, you see it moves the entire motion path and it also adds an additional keyframe and it's given me a result that I do not want. So one technique to move a layer that has an animation, select all of the position property keyframes. Then you wanna make sure the CTI or the playhead is directly over a keyframe. With snapping enabled, if you press the shift key and drag the CTI, it'll snap right onto a keyframe. You can also use the keyboard shortcut J to go to the previous keyframe, K to jump to the next keyframe, but as long as the CTI or playhead is directly over a keyframe, you can just click right on the object, move it anywhere you want. It is not affecting the motion path, and when you let go, that animation will be exactly the same, just in a new position. The second method, very similar to the first, you're gonna select both position property keyframes, but you don't need to move the CTI over one of the keyframes. Don't click on the object itself. The trick here is to click on one of the end vertices. It doesn't matter which one, I can click on the left side, I can click on the right side. Notice it's not moving the motion path, it's not adding a keyframe. I can move this anywhere I want, and when I let go, the animation is exactly the same. And the third method is adding a null object. This is probably the most popular method. It's also really useful when you want to move multiple layers that have animations. To add a null object, I'm just gonna right click anywhere in the layers panel, go to new null object. Now I need to parent a layer or multiple layers to the null object. If you don't see the parent and link column, just right click anywhere in this header area, go to columns and tick parent and link. And now you're gonna take the pick whip for the layer that you want to move. You don't wanna take the property pick whip, you wanna select the layer pick whip. So I'm gonna select this top one here, click and drag it right onto the null object. Now I can just select that null object layer, I can click and drag it anywhere I want or I can tap on P for the position property of the null, but wherever I move this null object, I'm moving that layer along with the animation. It's not adding any additional keyframes. It's not changing the animation. Once the null object has done its job and move your animation to a new position, you can just delete the null object and it's not gonna affect the animation. And to easily move multiple layers with animations, I'll create a new null object. This time I'll go up to the top menu, click on layer, new, null object. I'm gonna select all of the layers that I want to move. I'll go to the parent and link. I can just select the pick whip of any one of the selected layers and drag it onto the null object. I'll move the CTI to the beginning so I know where the animation starts. I'll select the null object and I can move it anywhere I want. Wherever I let go, that is where that animation is going to start. But I'll just go right to the edge, let go, tap the space bar, perfect. And that is how you can move an animation anywhere you want in your composition without affecting the animation. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.